beware of crippling blind spots crippling blind spots and uh, we, we, everybody knows what a blind spot is the drivers are driving and even though you're going on the right road and you're looking carefully ahead of you if you're going to change lane knowledgeable drivers knowledge know you gotta look at the blind spot if anything is there and there are different ways to know the blind spot they have certain kind of mirrors to know the blind spot we older guys you know we don't need no mirror we just do like this come on fast you know blind spot so we're not going to get complicated we're going to just stay simple because the lord dealt with me and then we have to speak that word we had to speak it's already online that we're going to we're going to speak that word shortly and it, and today's date is there as a matter of fact and it says beware of blind spots and blind spots we're not mainly talking about folks who don't love god and folks who just do their own thing and don't care and so they have trouble uh, blind spots every good driver have a blind spot glory to god but i hear the lord say beware of blind spots beware of blind spot you can even be in god's will and still have a blind spot have blind spots you can be in god's perfect will and miss the blind spots those of your drivers who drive know that if you if you're going onto the highway they have a name that they call it so when you when you're on that that little road and you're about to enter the highway you can't just look in your rear view mirror rear view mirror is a very important thing and we know the importance of it are you there but you can't just look in your rear view mirror if you look into your rear view mirror you can see some vehicles which are a little farther away in the rear view but there is there's a place a spot near to your car which the regular rear view mirror cannot show so you can drive for 20 years and be safe because your regular mirror you look at but if you never have a, a, that little blind spot glass or if you never look over your shoulder one accident and you're dead so you can be driving for 20 years well and you're safe and you're just going out on the highway going on to Bronx River Park where you know that little road to go to go on Bronx River and when you're about to merge onto it if you don't practice to go like this I'm telling you you're in danger you're in big big danger because you have not seen if a car is at the blind spot are you there sorry so in the same way there are many good people you're on the right track you are doing the right thing for God you are in God's perfect will. <laughs> but a blind spot can cripple you. Cripple you. It can finish you. You can be doing the work of God on one blind spot. And I hear the Lord say, beware of crippling blind spots. Are you there? And Noah was a great man of God. Anybody heard of him? And Noah was used by God. My God to reprimand the world and after the flood came and everybody saw that Noah was, was a man of God Noah had a blind spot he loved alcohol he loved alcohol he drank alcohol and because he drank alcohol he stripped himself naked and we know his sons came and did the wrong things but if he had not taken the alcohol he would not have that blind spot he got naked and didn't even realize because the alcohol caused him. Are you with me, somebody? Call to God. Though Noah was a great man. Uh, let, let me get another great man. Moses. Come on. The Bible said there's no man meek as Moses on the earth. God talked to Moses face to face. And God warned other prophets who wanted to challenge Moses. Say, so you challenge Moses. I give you a dream. I give you a vision. But I talked to Moses straight. Yeah face to face word for word but moses got too hungry 
really, really anger, too angry, and did what he shouldn't do. And guess what happened? He didn't enter Canaan. His blind spot was a little anger. And he was a very loving leader, very compassionate, very merciful. One of the time he told God, if you don't forgive them, take my name out of your book. Very compassionate, a very good man, but he had a blind spot. That's why we have to watch. Recently, I had a blind spot. I know I have a couple of blind spots, but I remember one when we were looking for the place for the World Revival City, you know? And when God revealed the place, I assume it's got to be a massive place. I assume it's got to be a big place. Guess what happened? We went to every golf club and we looked for the biggest golf club in Florida. And we found the biggest one. It was 220 acres. You know, 220 acres? That's, are you there? We got it. Guess what happened? We signed the contract. We paid down on it. 220 acres. That's crazy. You know? If you have to go from one end to the other, you have to use all those little carts, golf carts, to get there. And we went through. The lawyers were on it. We went through the HO, what they call it? HO what? HOA. HOA. Then we had what we call a contract lawyer, different from the regular lawyer. We had the, we, we, oh my God, everything together. I said, what big? I want this big. When I start to walk, I must can't reach to the other side. Big. And I just go for it. And the Lord began to, and then the Lord showed me a vision. And the Lord showed me a vision of a sanctuary. A sanctuary. It's not about a big place. It's a sanctuary. And I still decide, no, I want a big place. And the Lord keep on saying, the Lord show me the sanctuary in detail. I can't give you that detail right now. And I say, no, we want that big place. You went through only to wait for the closing now. Everything is in motion just to wait for the closing. Bam. One day I just went to the doctor. You know, changing doctors from New York. So I went to the doctor to get a little, you know, check up and to transfer you know, medical, this or whatever, whatever. And when I went to the doctor, when the doctor checked me, you know what the doctor did? The doctor called the fire department. I'm at the clinic, doctor clinic. It's almost a hospital, right? And he called the fire department. Emergency, emergency, emergency. And grabbed me. And they come and all these firemen come and take me. I said, you so before the doctors came, the people in the, in, in the clinic said, are you okay, sir? You know, they don't think I'm going to die. And they came and took me to the emergency room, the fire department. In about one hour, they let me go and say nothing wrong with you. Yeah, I'm just telling you what happened. I'm in about one hour. You know my wife is fast. I was finished before she arrived. And there's no woman fast as she. Yeah, yeah. Before she arrived, I'm out. I'm out, of the, I'm, I'm, out, I'm out of the hospital. You're there. But I said, God, this is all making any sense. I said, God, why does this, why, why this have to happen? God said, because you won't hear. I'm not looking for a big land. I'm looking for a sanctuary first. Because this big land didn't have any sanctuary. They have a building, you know, golf club building, you know. But there's no sanctuary. And then the Lord said, no, no, no. So I had to call some of the board members to my house fast. I said, no, 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 no. God says not big land, it's a sanctuary. Could you go and search for me? And they went searching. That they had, before we reached that, that big golf club, we had looked at maybe 200 places. And they said, go, and they went again. And before, you know, just to make it short, just to make it short, within 24 hours, yes. we saw the place. Hallelujah. We saw the place. But guess who saw the place? Sure. In a vision. In a vision. In a vision. Listen. When we are quiet, we're going to tell you more. The address in a vision. God gave half of, the, half of the address to one person. And the other person gave the other half. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And within, within the next 12 hours, we were at the place. Not even the real estate know about the place. They said, there's no place like this. No, they said, they said no place like this. And we went to the place within 12 hours. And that's the place. That's the place. That's the place right now. We believe in God before. Oh, short time. 
you're gonna stay right here and show you the key that's the place are you there are you there are you there but i took too long to tell you this too long because the main thing i want to tell you i had a blind spot come on i had a big land blind spot you got to be massive blind spot that's my fault huh? everything from me just massive are you there that's massive, yeah, there? That was my blind spot. Massive stuff is my blind spot. Glory to God. I have to confess. Glory to God. But God put me down. God put me down for me to get it. So I want to teach you. Beware of the blind spot. You there, somebody? Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. You can watch this now. Hmm. Not only you can be in the will of God and still have a blind spot you can be at peace because peace is a form of god's will is that demon whenever you have peace is a demonstration that you are in the will of god are you there that's a big subject by itself confidence you can be you can have peace you can have confidence that what you're doing is going to work you can even be persistent you can even be single-minded hmm. but still have a blind spot I rebuke every blind spot in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the blind spot. But I hear God say, beware of blind, st blind spot. I'm going to give you a few blind spots. There can be many, many, many blind spots. But I'm going to give you a few blind spots that I know the Lord wants me to deal with. I'm, 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 I'm going to skip the one that I, I don't believe the Lord wants me to tell you. I'm going to stay with the one that I believe are very much a part of us that we must deal with. Are you there? The first blind spot I want to tell you about is a blind spot called sorcery. Yes, sorcery. You must know if sorcery is around you. You can be having good church. You can be having good ministry. You can be doing very well. But you must know if your surrounding is full of sorcery. You must know that once you're in a sorcery surrounding, you got to open your eye more than normal. If you're in a sorcery city, if you're in a sorcery city, you have got to know there's sorcery going on. So for you to be normal, you have to be in warfare against sorcery. You have to be in warfare against a strong man because you're in a sorcery city. Anybody ever go to, go into, anybody ever go into a hotel room? If you go into a hotel room <laughs> and sleep in time, <laughs> he just go and jump in there say dear God thank you for a good day and jump in the bed and sleep <laughs> and just go and sleep come on man come on man come on man come on man that's a lot of ignorance a hotel room where, where folks do all kind of a... I don't want to take everything off this off take off the camera so you have to know how to yeah. what they do Really? You have to have some war. Yes. After war. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. War. Amen. 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 I put on my towel. I put on my what they call it? Pillow. <laughs> I, I just put my beer head. No, don't follow me. Don't follow me. <laughs> Glory to God. Yeah, when you go to a hotel, the things that go on there. Come on. The people their head. People doing all kind of stuff. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. I said, don't follow me. Well, we have to be in warfare. You have to be aware that you are around a lascivious city. Come on, you are around a, 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 a licentious setting. So you're not jump off like it's your home. Come on, somebody. No, you're not going to get paranoid. You pray a good prayer and say, every unclean spirit, yes. every perverse spirit, every perverse act that happened in this atmosphere, in this territory, I bind you in the name of Jesus and I cast you out. I cast you out. And you don't worry about it. It's over. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you, don't, don't, don't worry yourself. Once you do that, it's over. But what, how do I know? Matthew 16, 18, so whatsoever I bind on earth, the Bible can lie. Come on, it's bound in heaven. And whatsoever I lose, I say, I bind you, your demons, your perverted demons. 
you adulterous demons you who are dumb demons so, so you be careful of the blind spot of sorcery when you're in a sorcery setting come on somebody you are in warfare come on or things will happen i'm telling you because they're always trying to see if they can get they can get you glory to god but you're not going to be fearful just going to be careful God said, I've not given you a spirit of fear and of power. I'm telling you, anything funny going on, you just get up and say, come out of here in the name of Jesus and go sleep. Let's go sleep. Let's go sleep. You know, you're not, you not have to open your Bible on your bed. Come on, somebody. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Let's bind and go sleep. Come on, sir. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus, I bind every crippling blind spot in Proverbs, in Revelation 18.23 it says for thy merchants were the great men of the earth for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived and that, that's what happened especially in Babylon if you live in Babylon hmm? and, and most scholars conclude that New York is missed to Babylon because Babylon the real Babylon is Iraq and Iran are you there? Yeah. And, and the things in Revelation is not in Iraq. <laughs> in Revelation 18 and 19 is, is not in, in Iraq and Iran. Not at all. So, but, so God called it Mr. Babylon. So once you hear you are conscious of sorcery. You just go off in a ministry and, and, and you don't deal with sorcery. Oh, bro, take a shiki behind you. Man, bro, take a shiki behind so you know spells are around all kind of spells so you check yourself come on Lord, you check yourself um, am i am i this am i that Lord of god because you're around a blind spot of sorcery okay finish tonight another blind spot is the wrong association wrong association you gotta check your association yeah yeah, some some folks are intrusive. Some so yeah, yeah I've what what I call some intrusive do gooders. They do good for you, but they want payback. And because they do good, they just intrude into your home, intrude in your family, just intrude in your life. Because they are do good, you can't say nothing. Come on, somebody, And these people don't plan to do bad, but they are just intrusive, and they're not supposed to take over your life. Come on, you know, he pass at your house every day. Come on, a pastor is a good person. Am I right? And every day they pass at your house, sit around the table. You know? And, and <laughs> oh my God, my God. I, I heard a pastor one time talking to, talking to a church member. And here the pastor, the church member, what day is your day off? What day is your day off? And let's the project. I say, okay, and do that. You got to pick, get a pee. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> So you're trying to <laughs> come on here. You don't want to know everything about your members. Come on, give them a look. Come on, somebody. Come on, you gotta give them space. <laughs> come on, so they went off on a little vacation. You upset the gun on vacation for, 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 for a week. And you, and you preach a sermon against vacation. <laughs> come, on. come on, man. Come on, man. Lord of God. Come on. Lord of God. Oh God, association, association. You be very your, your association. You can have indulgent, not very bad, but indulgent and association taking over your life. Anti taking over your life. Your knees anti taking over your life. Come on, you, you borrow some money so they take over your life. <laughs> Lord oh God, and it become your blind spot because you need that they could help. Sometimes it's companionship you need, and that's okay, but they overdo it. Somebody say beware of crippling blind spots. For, for Second Corinthians six seventeen, hmm. he said, "Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separate," said the Lord, "and touch not the unclean thing." Lord God. Thirdly, gifts, gifts, gifts. It's okay to take gifts from people who you believe have a good agenda yeah but not all the time are you there Deuteronomy 16 19 
He said, thou shalt rest, hear this one, thou shalt rest judgment, thou shalt, thou shalt not rest judgment, thou shalt not respect persons, neither take a gift for a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise. Come on, somebody say blind spot. Somebody say blind spot. He does blind the eyes of the world. Hear this one. And pervert the words of the righteous. You see what we're talking about? We're not talking about unrighteous folks now. Come on. We're not talking about troublemakers. We're talking about folks who know God. Folks who are in the will of God. Are you there? But they are blind spots. You can go on for a long time. Anybody, anybody heard of, 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 of Samson? His blind spot was lost. Glory to God. That's blind spot. Glory to God. I may, I may soon get there, but there are preachers who will preach out of a coma. They'll preach up. They'll heal. My God. Glory to God. I'm sorry to give trouble. I'm sorry to give trouble. But by the, by the Spirit of God, I know two years they, they come to Dutch. You know? Give them two years they're going to come to Dutch. Now, I forgive you just like that. But they do everything. Everything else good. They will lead the church, top level, full the church. But loss is their blind spot. Uh, that is blind spot. If, they, if, if you're not dealt with, uh, all at work one day, all at work one day. Are you there? That's what I'm talking, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's, that's why I have to be very careful. I've seen great people, great people, and I know by the spirit that's their, that's their blind spot. I don't know five years time, I don't want nobody to call me, because I know what. I know what. They, I, I said, oh, don't call me, don't call me, don't call me. Blind spot. Glory to God. Come on, say, beware. Of crippling blind spots. So gifts, you be careful of, you judge your gifts. You know, and this is not only gifts of money or something. It can be, it can be favor they give you. Yeah, it can be favor, it can be opportunity. Are you there? And it's still a kind of gift. You'll be very, 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 very careful. You know, and some employer love to give opportunity, you know, for their own ends, for their own sensual ends. Come on now. Glory to God. Come on, they give you opportunity, then they want to go have a drink with you. Come on, I'm talking about, I'm not talking about those men and ladies now. They want, they want to say, you know, you're a good brother, you know, on the job, and they want to, you know, let's take a smoke. You know, and, and all that kind of a thing. Glory to God. The next one is lust. And I cannot touch it already. Proverbs 632. Hear this one. But whoso committed adultery, hear this one, with a woman lack it understanding. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. Come on now. Come on. Come on, ma'am. Come on, man. Are you serious? Lack it understanding. Hear this one. Hear this one. Somebody said blind spot. Some of the people in blind spot. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. Ooh, ooh. So yeah, I'm preaching, mighty ministry, doing great, traveling the world. But that because of that blind spot. Come on, somebody. I destroy my soul. I thought I was a great preacher. I thought I was a man of understanding. Come on, somebody. But that blind spot, great preacher, but that blind spot. Come on, Brown de Kishabaha. This, this it, it said soul. It said soul. But yes, we teach once to save you always say. It says soul. Somebody said beware of keeping blind spot. Beware of pride. 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 We have pride. Proverbs 16, 18. Pride goeth before destruction and a hard spirit before fall. Anybody remember? A lot of great people, a lot of great, and many of us, pride. A little boastful, a little show off, a little self, uh, uh, you know, self absorbed. You know, we can't, you know, we, you know, nobody can offend us, nobody can step on our toe. We just think everybody is faulty and we are faultless. <laughs> you ever see folks like that? Oh, they are, oh, everybody is faulty, but I am faultless. You know, oh my God, pride, 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 pride. And it's very hard. 
It's very hard because pray is a nice word, you know. <laughs> yeah, pray. It almost sound like something good. <laughs> so when they say you got pride, you say, <laughs> come on, come on, pride, 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 pride. Pride is a blind spot. Anything promoting you, anything selfish, anything. And let me tell you, anytime you find yourself just blaming other people and don't remember yourself, that's just pride. Come on, Zamar. Because people around you are always going to do wrong. Somebody must step on your toe if you're in a crowd. If you're in a church, somebody must say something negative about you. If somebody never... Oh, no, I won't tell you. If you're in a church and nobody ever said nothing negative about you, there's something wrong with you and God. Don't go around and ask and say, did you hear anybody say anything negative? <laughs> no, I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. Don't get upset. I'm telling you so that when it happens, you don't get upset. There's a negative about you. So I say, Bishop, I can't believe it. I'm so nice. I can't. Oh, yeah. The nicer you are, they're going to do it. <laughs> so don't get upset over it. Don't get upset. If you don't say negative about you, that means you're not rocking. Come on. Come on. Someone say, Beware of crippling blinds. Yeah, beware of rebellion. Rebellion, rebellion, rebellion. First Samuel 15, 23. He said, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Wow! Wow! Yes, you see? So rebellion, you just, are you serious? For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness as iniquity and idolatry. And, and, and I think it was Samuel talking to talking to, to, to King Saul. And he said, Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. Rebellion, rebellion. But most rebellion that we think of is just the auto rebellion. As somebody said, I'm not going to cooperate. No, there's a lot of silent rebellion. There are a lot of underground dissent. You know, and folks just decide, well, I'm going to do it different. I'm going to do it my way. I look in that harvest, I look at some of the branches across the world, and they just decide, I'm going to have a different standard. And they just do their own thing. Oh, yes, they, they, you know, yeah, that's rebellion. You know, underground, secret. Okay, we're not in New York where the leaders are. You know, we are over there in the countryside. We are all the way over in Trinidad. We are in, and, and they just secretly Right, the guy lies. That's rebellion. No matter, no matter how they preach, there's a blind spot. No matter the preach, there's gonna be a breakdown. No matter what they do, something's gonna go wrong. Are you, are you in somebody? Because it's not with man, it's with God. Come on, if you're gonna break the guidelines, they don't like this one. You should where's up a different church. I'll go on a different body. Are you there? You're free to do that. But you're not to be in a ministry with the guidelines. Come on, and doing their own thing. Are you there? And as long as they break the guidelines, it's not going to work. It's going to blow up. Oh, my God. Are you there? Glory to God. Because what it does when we, when we rebel, it brings a spirit of witchcraft that you don't even see well. It's almost as if sorcery has come upon you. Are you there? Glory to God. Glory to God. Someone said, beware mm -hmm. of crippling blind spots. Another one, devices. We've gone a lot so far. We've gone six, am I right? Seven, seven. Now give me ten minutes more. Seven, seven, devices, devices. Someone said blind spot. Somebody said blind spot. Someone said blind spot. Devices. You're overcome by devices. Who? Oh, the phone? You are phoned. You are telephoned the ED. It's a blind spot. It's a net. All night you're on the net. All day on the net. Net, net, net. Anybody heard about internet? No. How could God have the, the same word in Habakkuk 1? Come on. Come on. Long time. Ah, come on. Come on. You only call it net because net is a trap. In, all internet is international. All it means is world, is world shop. And we're on, we're on it all day. Come on, somebody. This is not going to work. There's something going on. Right now, all, right now I learned from the news. Let, no, I don't want to take me off. I learned from the news right now that a lot of hospitals have the head of Facebook. What's his name again? Yeah, in court. Because 
he have all of the medical records. He has all of the medical records. He has all of the medical records. If you give private doctor, he has all of your medical records. So a few hospitals have him in, in court. You know that even that is a charade. Even that is fake. They want to pretend as if they're going after him. Come on, it's only 8 billion people in the earth. It's all over. Are you there? So the net, the net, the net. Habakkuk won't talk about the net and the drug. They do everywhere to get you. So anywhere you can lose yourself, you lose yourself. Come on, you can put down a phone for you. put down a phone. Are you there, somebody? Glory to God. Glory to God. Digital, 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 digital. All day. Siri, 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 Siri. Come on. Try to find it in yourself. Come on, somebody. Are you there, somebody? Glory to God. I'm telling you. So then take the hard way. Just take the hard way. My God, just take the hard way. My God, sometimes, sometimes I, want, I, want a, I want a scripture. I think one of my blind spots is trying to find a scripture, you know, on the net. Lord, I'll read that one. Oh, she, come on, I gotta confess. Come on, I'm, I'm just tonight, I'm looking for scripture to preach to you, <laughs> you know. But sometimes, sometimes my wife is my, is my you know, I said, tell me, Sunday, tell me where this is. Eh? Almost half of it, I said, tell me, the bomb, 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 she gave me, you know. But, but I, have, I have to try, try. Sometimes I, I, I take up my whole concordance. And hold a big concordance book and go to A's. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Right? Because they want to trap you. So you try. I know you have to use it, but you try. Try to do something to fight it. If you're going to preach, don't, don't just use a phone preach. Come on, have a little New Testament beside it. Can I level out? Can I balance it? Can I fight them? Come on, somebody. Boko, rakata, sakata. Did you know that if you skip a day of using your phone, did you know that their money got down to half? Come on. You'd have to understand a little economics to teach you that. Your use, every time you use it, they make more money. Or if you don't spend money, because they need you for their publicity, then, come on, somebody, for the advertising, just you, just you watching, they count your number. That there's one more here, there's one more sitting there, and because of that, they can get money from, from, from come on, from Crest Toothpaste. Come on, come on, to show you when you're looking. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Don't be too digital. Fight it. Don't let them corner you. It's very bad. And when you have time, you read Habakkuk 1, when you have time, the next thing, the next thing is that your, is your very residence can be a blind spot. The Bible says, the Bible says in Revelation 18, 5, it says, come on, for my people. Come on, let me get it. Let me get it for you. Your residence, you can't, you can't just live anywhere. My God. If you live in the wrong place, you automatically have a blind spot by living there. Huh. Verse 4 of Revelation 18. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that he be not partakers of her sins, and that he receive not her plagues. Verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God has remembered her iniquity. Try to be a aware of that try to be aware of that and if you can identify come out of her my god man as long as you're in her there's a blind spot on you oh my gosh this is, a, this is the power hard to receive this is the power hard. Yeah. as long as you are there oh my gosh there's a blind spot so every now and then abraham have to show up <laughs> you don't want to hear me you don't want to hear me. If you know one, then Abraham will show up and you have to show up to church to hear Abraham. My God. Because Abraham comes to show you the blind spot. Abraham comes to show you that they want to destroy your home. Oh, my God. 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 Someone said, beware yeah. of crippling blind spot. Are you there, somebody? And don't worry, this week we got more coming from south. Hallelujah. And don't worry, south came from you. God knows how to do it. Come on, Abraham and Lot were together. 
You don't want to work with me. Glory to God. But Abraham, when he saw the condition of life, every time he gone back to he, he gone back to Sodom. Why are they? Glory to God. And thank God they are more on their way. Say amen. amen. I'm gonna get into trouble. Too much study. Too much study. Too much secular study can give you a blind spot. Come on. That's why some of the most educated are atheists. That's their blind spot. Come on, somebody. Blonde Kisha Kaba Papa. Raka. Ah, I, I gotta get that verse. I was hurrying so much, I didn't get to, to, to really tabulate it. Uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 12. Somebody read it for me if you got it. And further. And further. Like these, my son. Like these, my son. Be admonished. Be admonished. Of making many books. Of making many books. There is no end. There is no end. Woo. Much study is a weariness of the flesh. Are you there? You can get so educated you don't want God. And the Bible says in 2 Corinthians, I believe 8 verse 2, it says no man know everything as they ought to know. And that's why God said we must remain with the simplicity of Christ. For the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 11 verse 2 and 3 that, 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 that Eve was beguiled. My God from the simplicity of Christ. Come on. I don't believe that time. The time they have the day. I don't believe that time. They're giving me too much time. I don't believe that time. 25 minutes? I don't believe. <laughs> what can I preach on this? My God said I got too much time. My God of mercy. Oh, some preacher would just speak in tongues. I got no time. I don't need so much. Oh, thank you, sir. Give me about 10. What kind of preacher is this? I was in England one time in the 90s and I was preaching in the studio and I thought I was going to preach long and I preached for about 12 minutes. They could not believe it. They take off the biggest man in, a, in, in England off the program and put me on. For months and months and months because you know to preach short. I don't know what I'm doing. Come on, someone said, so be Beware of crippling blind spots. You're with me right there. Glory to God. Study, then tradition. Too much study, too much study, too much study, too much study, so much study. Don't study and research. I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to get in trouble with this one. I'm going to take some trouble. I'm going to take some attack. You will know if you send them away far. They're going to backslide and still send them. Don't do it no more. We all do wrong. Don't do it no more. No more. Too much study. Too much study. They need God. Come on, tell me. Every week of study, they need about uh, they need a full Sunday at church. I'm telling you, it's a blind spot that sister she's strong in the Lord, brother, but they have a blind spot too much to that. Tradition, 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 tradition. Mark 7 13 said, Tradition has made the word of God of none effect. You know, we're not ready for new things. We just, you know, say, hey, all we understand is what we know. The Bible says when Jesus came, he said they couldn't understand him because he, the things he do was not according to custom. Come on, somebody. God said, Isaiah 42 and verse 9, he said, the former things are come to pass. Say, amen. And behold, what I do, a new thing. He said, sing a new song. He said, even in speaking in tongues, you must check yourself if you're speaking the same thing all the time. Come on, let your wife record you. <laughs> They don't like a plain preacher. Let the wife record is speaking in tongues. And listen, like I say, but I keep on saying the same thing. Come on, somebody. And hope God's another open more. He's gonna give you more Monday the Bakatiki Sahanda. Put on the kishtaka sakatara bakata. Opera kata sakatara bakataya. I don't I keep my mouth open. But you just say one word and then you stop. So that's a problem. You don't want any explanation. New tongue, new tongue, new tongue. Come on, new tongue, new tongue, new revelation. God said, I'm going to bring the blind by a way they knew not. Come on, you can't use 45 records right now. Come on. All you people too young, you don't know nothing about that. 45 records. My God, my God. And, and every three minutes, you have to go and put it on top of it again. 
to play for three minutes. When it finished, you have to run out to the bathroom and come and put it down again. See, you see a guy look lost? Young people, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, come on. New thing. Ready for new thing. We're not talking about man new thing. We're talking about God new thing. That's why I said God says the former things that come to pass and be all I. Be all God. Do a new thing. Don't be afraid of new things. As long as it's God. No. Listen, there are some of us, even pastors, we are just, just into the old system. That's why in most churches, they don't baptize same time. Come on. They wait for six months. Show me that in the Bible. I dear one of you. Show me. I give you. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Ah. But God has moved upon us. We baptize same time. Give God praise. Give God praise. Someone said, beware of crippling blind spots. Watch this one now. Watch this one. You got to get this one now. Beware of cankered wealth. Cankered wealth. God says, it's good to have money. God says, it's my will that you be prosperous and be healthy as your soul prosper. God said, in Deuteronomy 28, verse 8, someone said, he said, behold, I give you power. Deuteronomy 8, 18, to get well to establish it. But there, there's something the Bible called cankered wealth. You be careful. You don't just want wealth. Come on, somebody. You want holy wealth. Say amen. amen. You want good wealth. Come on, somebody. You want godly wealth. Amen. Come on, somebody. You want family wealth. Amen. Come on. You want children wealth. You want blessed wealth. Come on, somebody. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. But you have a thing called cankered wealth. It's not just the money. That, and many churches have broken down the standard just because of the money. Many churches took money to close the church. Many churches took money to turn the church into a clinic. Oh, bakata, bakata. You there, somebody, glory to God. That's cankered wealth. Come on, somebody. Rekata shaka ba ba ba. Shiba ba ba. Hear this verse. You got to get this verse down. You got to get this verse down. You got to get this verse down. Let me give you the verse. First Timothy 6 9. But they that will be rich fall into what? Are you serious? And a sneer and and into many foolish and hurtful what lust which what drown men in what destruction and I never know money could do that. That's six things you saw right there. Come on, are you there? Can't go the world. You have to be careful how well come in your hand. You have to be careful. Come on. What price you have to pay for that wealth? I could give you some sort of wealth you wouldn't believe. The wrong wealth can destroy your home. It's in the Bible. Glory to God. I can, can I give you another one? The wrong wealth. God said wrong wealth don't leave you innocent. <laughs> the Bible said that. It said once you, you, your wealth is wrong, you're not innocent. There, there's something wrong in it. I don't want to get down to what I want to say. Shirakata bakata baka. Shirakata man. Someone said, Beware of crippling blind spot. Beware of cankered wealth. Get good wealth, not cankered wealth. I'm going to announce the rest. Beware of apathy. Apathy. Just apathy where you don't care. Bible says in Proverbs 22, verse 3, he says, A prudent man foresee evil and hide himself. But the simple pass on and are punished. That's apathy. You see stuff going on, certain alerts, certain alarms, but you just don't care. You just go on. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, my, something going to go wrong. All these blind spots, I don't know if I'm communicating properly, but all these blind spots, something going to go wrong. That's my point. 
so it could be 20 years something gonna go wrong if we don't put a proper mirror and the bible is the mirror come on somebody this is the mirror if you don't put a blind spot mirror in that mirror the regular mirror the rear rearview mirror is not a blind spot mirror you put a smaller one come on drivers help me in it this is the blind spot mirror and if we don't have the blind spot mirror in something gonna go wrong something bad gonna happen i'm telling you there's gonna be trouble Come on, somebody. It, it may not happen tomorrow, but trouble coming because of what? Because of the blind spot. Glory to God. I'm going to read off the rest. Glory to God. Deceitful offers. Second Corinthians 11 verse 2. Laxity. Laxity. It means that in the church, if you allow laxity, where people live as they want, do as they want, folks not living right, but you're still using them up more, you should use them. You don't give them a little time off where they catch up at themselves, something gonna go wrong. It is laxity. James 4 verse 4. Indulgence. Indulgence. My God. Indulgence. The next one is double-mindedness. James 1 8. The next one is hesitance. Like withholding, Joshua 18, 3. Stand up, everybody. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Beware of crippling blind spots. And as we said before, we may be on the way doing good. We may be in the will of the Lord. And we don't pay attention to those blind spots. And we are just preparing ourselves for something to go wrong. Now, because we are children of God, every now and then something is going to go wrong. And I mean like that. I mean, something going to go wrong that never have to go wrong. Something going to go wrong beyond the normal because of that blind spot. And we think we are okay because we have been going this way for a while. No, it's not going to work because of that blind spot. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every blind spot. Just like I had blind spots, Lord, and I had to see myself, confess them to you, and cast them out of my life. Even that blind spot for the World Revival City to be a big, massive place. And Lord, you corrected me. And now, Lord, we are looking for the World Revival Sanctuary City. Instead of a golf club city, we're looking for a sanctuary city where the sanctuary is first, where the temple is first, where the house of God is first. Thank you, Lord, for removing that blind spot. Glory to God. Can some of us gather the altar and let God deal with our blind spot? Deal with our blind spot. I'm telling you, his great people are blind spot. His holy people are blind spot. It's people in the will of God that blind spot. Much of the body of Christ had a blind spot and they didn't they did not realize that something would come on the earth and they would find themselves bowing to it because they had a blind spot. My God, my God, my God. Let's pray to God about our blind spot right now. My God, my God. Tell God to remove it. Tell God that ah, I'm willing to be humble, Lord. Just reveal it unto me. Lord, any one of these that was spoken in the pulpit, Lord, any one of these that is on me, oh, Lord, I remove it. I confess it to you, Lord. And I cast it out of my life. Go ahead right now and pray. Go ahead and pray right now. Those of you watching by the internet, those of you watching by television, those of you listening by tape, just identify that blind spot. Identify it and confess it to the Lord. We talk about your surrounding be full of sauce. We talk about wrong association. We talk about certain gifts. We talk about loss. We talk about pride. We talk about rebellion. We talk about internet devices. We talk about the wrong residence. We talk about much study. We talk about traditions of men. We talk about cankered wealth. We talk about apathy. We talk about deceitful offers. We talk about laxity being slack in the church. We talk about indulgence. We talk about double-mindedness. And we talk about hesitance to do God's mighty work. Pray to the Lord right now.
God is doing a mighty work. That's why he, he ministered this word. He's doing a mighty work. And he said, oh, you are doing a mighty work. I have to shield you. I have to shield you from the troubles of that blind spot. I have to shield you uh, from the crippling uh, troubles of that blind spot. I have to shield you from the crashes of that blind spot. In the name I cancel every blind spot from off God's warriors, from off God's harvesters, from off God's oracles. I bind and I cast out every blind spot, every prideful blind spot, every cankered witch's blind spot, every prideful blind spot, every tradition blind spot, my protocol, every sorcery blind spot, every spell from hell blind spot. I bind them and I cast them out of God's powerful people in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Talk to the Lord. Bind it. Cast it off you. Cast it off you. In the name of Jesus. It will not cause me any accident. It will not cause me any tragedy. It will not cause me any troubles. My God, any unnecessary troubles. My God, I will build every blind spot from my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Put on the Kishiba Handa. Prakata. Every blind spot. Even from those who are not here tonight. But for some reason they could not come, Lord. They could not make it, Lord. Lord, I visit them. I release this word, my God, into their home, into their hearing, in the name of Jesus. And I cast out, I cast away every blind spot. I cast it into outer darkness. And I release insight, foresight, revelation, knowledge, understanding. My God. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Rakota Kashaka. I'm Rokotosa Katabaha. Branda Katababa. Rokotosa Kotobahanda. Brakataba Kashiki. Oh, Brakadababa. Mama Baba. All is freedom in the name of Jesus. Freedom, freedom. Freedom, freedom. Freedom. Now, inside every blind spot. Reveal insight, foresight, who were behind sight, revelation, who baha, she baha, saba baha, oba baba baba, sata hata kata, rakata sakata baha. My God, my God, my God, my God, you're gonna see all around, but there's no blind spot, no dark area. Ma breketa baba baba, inside foresight, reke shiga baba in the name of my rakasa, open his eyes in the name of, and I. Can we yoke of him in the name of Jesus? Shiba, Baba, 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 Ba